Okay, thank you, Lula. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, do you know that some disease which impacting on public health can also cause problems to wildlife? One of them is white snail fever caused by white snail virus. White snail virus is an arbovirus, which means need a mosquito as a vector for the virus to be transmitted to another host. White snail virus is widely distributed and has wild birds as natural reservoir. For other countries, it was studied, but not for Madagascar case. That's why we want to know which wild birds can be in contact with the virus. Those determine whether West Nile virus circulates in all the bird species in Madagascar. We conducted an analysis of serum samples getting from centrifugation of the blood samples from 352 white birds of 40 different species in four regions of Madagascar using standard protocols of testing white Nile zero prevalence. This test allowed to detect the antibodies directed against the white Nile and so getting surgical status. And that means seropositive if the bird has the antibody and seronegative if not. So we found that 12.5% were seropositive from 19 species, in which there are three threatened species and one had the highest seroprevalence, Ipsipetes madagascariensis. We also looked what factors affect these serological stages. To do so, we performed a logistic regression model with serological status of birth as response variable. And the type of factor we interested in were are categorical variables and we classified those explanatory variables according to the biological, ecological, and geographical traits. So the most significant factor were living far from the wetland, belonging to passeriforms taxonomic order, living in the Alochamangu region, and having African distribution. So to conclude, we found that Malagasy bird had high seroprevalence. The seroprevalence rate is higher compared to the seroprevalence observed from previous study, but it's coherent with circulation levels found elsewhere. But further work is needed to investigate the clinical impact of YNV in wild birds, Madagascar, and identifying which wild bird species are more susceptible to YNV infection could allow the establishment of YNV monitoring program in wild birds in Madagascar to address conservation issues and use as an early warning tool. This could also have some important implication for the management of threatened bird population. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for listening and I'm here for your questions.